Engine Tech, the engine builder source, presents the Engine Tech product videos. Hello, we're here today to talk about Engine Tech's rebuilder piston ring. Piston rings are one of the most misunderstood components in the engine. There's a lot of mystery about it, a lot of black box voodoo that people have preconceived notions about about what piston rings were 30 years ago. And in explaining the features and benefits of the Engine Tech piston ring, maybe I can explain some of the technology changes that have occurred in the last few years that take some of the scariness or some of the uh, mystery out of the black box which normally people associate with piston rings. Piston rings uh, have one main function in the engine and that's a metallic seal that seals the pistons to the cylinder. Uh, it prevents uh, combustion gases from bypassing the piston and going into the crankcase and they also meter the amount of oil that goes up into the cylinder to lubricate the piston. Piston rings also transfer heat. It's a metallic seal that transfers heat from the piston to the cylinder and the cylinder is surrounded by water and it cools it. That's all it does. It's just like a giant metallic seal. However, we tend to make it a lot more complicated than it actually is. There is some science to what kind of material to use and what kind of application. Engine Tech goes through and selects premium materials such as a molly or a chrome or a steel ring for environments where there's going to be a lot of pollutants in the air, uh, dirt, dust that might lead to premature ring failure. Engine Tech provides the right material on the first surface of the ring to prevent it from wearing prematurely. Engine Tech also provides uh, the right type of expander for the application required. We have several different expanders, and this is what goes uh, between the rails to control the amount of oil that's uh, lifted up into the cylinder board. Uh, this, for example, is a, what they call the SS50 type expander. It, uh, it does a nice job of providing the right amount of tension on the oil rails against the cylinder wall. But it also, because of the design, like here, let me show you. You see how you cannot physically overlap these, uh, this expander? It stops it here. If you try to install it in the piston, it won't fit because it's too tall this way. So this is an anti-overlap device that prevents uh, rings from overlapping in the oil groove. Uh, it also prevents them from um, uh, hanging out too far out into the uh, uh, to the bore when installing it, making installation a lot more difficult. We do have a wireless type expander that we use for some uh, applications where it's a real thin expander, as well as the nylon block expander on some older applications. But primarily this uh, mini flex vent type expander is the one that uh, we're using in most of our piston ring sets today and our customers are very, very happy with it. Again, we use the right type of ring for the right type of environment. Uh, Engine Tech has a lot of cast rings uh, where there is no additional coating on the facing of it, but we also use some steel rings in the later model applications and heavy duty applications. Uh, this is where the major wear occurs in your piston ring pack is on the top ring. This is exposed to the most combustion pressures, the most dirt entering in through the air, and getting between the piston ring facing here and the cylinder will cause the most erosion and premature uh, wastage of the piston ring. Engine Tech makes sure we use the right facing for the right application. When you hear it's a chrome ring set or a molly ring set, this top ring is where it occurs. It's coating this wall. This happens to be a cast application that we have here, but if this were a chrome ring set or a molly ring set, that would be on this wall here. We use a pretty thick ring coating on that uh, for the chrome or molly. A lot of people use a cheapy triple flash chrome plating on there that'll wear out within 500 miles. We have a thick coating that we put on all our premium rings to prevent them from wearing prematurely. We also go through and final lap these uh, down to a level which most of our competitors don't do. And what that prevents is the cylinder bore from getting marked when that piston goes up and down for the first time in the bore during a sim test or something like that. Again, piston rings are metallic rings that transfer heat. Engine Tech's rebuilder ring incorporates the right material for the right application to be serviced. Engine Tech also uses the right expander for the requirement, uh, either wire latch, SS50, uh, flex vent, or nylon block type expanders to prevent overlap, as well as protrusion problems, pop out during installation. 